What is up guys? It is a new day, which means it is another time to go fishing. And what we got planned for today is right now, I'm about to go catch between 25 and hopefully 40 green sunfish, bullheads, miscellaneous bait fish to uh, go do some flathead fishing this evening. Hopefully get on some big fish and probably some multi-species later today. Uh, but that'll all be included later. So right now, come with me and let's go catch some bait fish, guys. All right, guys, so we are at the first bait spot. I'm sitting here sitting down so these fish don't see me. You gotta be kind of stealthy. Water's real clear and shallow. We got four pound monofilament. I think it's a 164th ounce BB split shot. And I got a tiny itty bitty fly. I'm not sure what size it is, but I'm gonna tip it with bits of bacon and night crawler, just little bitty pieces, just small hook, get it in, get it in their mouth pretty quick. Good hook set in there, and then uh, we'll take these guys fishing. So let's see what we can do. I'll catch some of these bait fish right quick. Let's see, I'm gonna try the bacon first. I don't ever fish with people food, I guess you per se, just because I think it's unethical. But I'm just catching bait, and you know these guys aren't very picky. Let's stick that hook on there, like so. It's probably a bit bigger of a piece that I want to use. You know, good thing about this, I get to lick my fingers afterwards. <laughs> not really. Not searching for tapeworms. Let's see about getting a fish. Oh, I had him. Oh, he's eating it. A bunch of little guys. Oh, I missed him, guys. Oh, I got one, and he's tiny. Look at that monster, guys. That's that's about as small as I want. I'll probably use these size guys to feed some uh, at-home fish. But, uh, you know, you never know. I caught my biggest flathead on a one-and-a-half-inch shad, so who knows? A little green sunfish might get it done for him. Oh, well, I did it, guys. I hooked myself with the bacon fly. Oh man. Oh. That one was in there. I'm glad it's a small hook. Might get a little food poisoning, but I think it'll be alright. Oh, missed him. Missed him. There are a bunch of real little guys. Even the top minnows are having at it. better fish guys we have made it down here to the roaring Arkansas River a very beautiful river a very strong river one not to be underestimated but we're about to get our flathead rods out and this is gonna be the first bait we're going out is this nice pretty long-eared sunfish we'll check that out guys there's a gar skull too he's smiling at you anyways we're gonna get this guy out here so when it comes to flathead fishing raging rivers like this I like to use a big hook because they're not gonna hold on to that bait very long the current's too quick. They're gonna grab it, they're gonna let go if they found out something's wrong. So you want that hook to grab them first. So depending on how you hook your bait fish, they're always gonna swim against the pressure of the hook. I hook him in the back, he's gonna swim down. I hook him in the belly right here, below, above his lower pectoral fin, he's gonna swim up. In this case, I kinda want him to swim up. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick a hook right there through his bottom. 
just like that. I got a three ounce no roll weight, a couple beads to make some noise, and uh, we'll see if that'll get it done, guys. I don't ever want to put them out very far. Flatheads don't live very far off the water's edge. They're a very typical shallow fish. I got 30 pound mono with a 30 pound leader, a little light, but that's why I'm fishing pretty close to the shore. And I'm just gonna take them. I'm gonna toss them right about there. I'm gonna let them sink, let them sink, let them sink, let them sink. He's down there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place that rod right there. And I'm gonna hope for one to come up and crush it. I gotta get these other two rods out guys and we're gonna see what happens. That's a fish on, guys. Oh, what is it? It's on the fly. Oh, he's running too. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's a, I think it's a white bass. Oh, it's a chunk white bass. Heck yeah. Look at that thing. Oh, first white bass I've caught in a while. Smoke that woolly bugger. Look at that guy. Man. I'll catch you more of those, I might start catching. There's a huge diamondback water snake right here. Let's see if I can get hands on this beautiful creature. Oh, I got him. Oh, yep. Looky there, guys. He's, he's mad. Beautiful fella. Love these guys with all my hearts. Don't bite me. This is a diamondback water snake. It is Nerodia rhombifer is your scientific name for it. Non-venomous species, very big, large species of water snake and stinky. And he don't want to be messed with no more, so I'm gonna send him on his way. Yeah. Oh, there he is, guys. Oh, I know y'all saw that bite. He ain't huge, but he's still fighting. I wonder what he is. I wonder what he is. Oh, it's a drummer guy. It's a drummer boy. Oh, smash that olive bug. I wish I had black or white one, but olive will have to do. Nice little freshwater drum. They do get way much bigger out here, and they're so much fun to catch on a fly rod. Beautiful dark guy. I'm going to let him go. It's still stinky from that water snake, so let's see that out. Look at him, guys. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's a better fish, too. Uh -oh. Another drum. Catfish rods are still there, so that's a good thing. Or is it a bad thing? Cause I ain't got a bite yet. Drum. All right, I'm probably not gonna show you all another drum. Hopefully.
right, guys, we got something on the itty bitty rod in the four pound line. What is it? It's a white bass. <coughs> Look, you there. He ate a tiny piece of bluegill, actually, because I was a dummy and forgot my cast net. So, no shad for me. Nice little whitey. Let's get back to it. Swipe us a little bitty shad on the bear hook, so I'll flip him back in there. Let him get down there, see if he gets eight. Oh, he got it! Oh, yeah! Oh man, whoa, whoa! I don't know if this is a white bass, guys. He's running into my cat line. It's a cat! Oh my gosh, it's a huge cat on the four pound, and he just crossed over my cat line. Oh man, I told you guys you catch anything doing this. Look at that. I think it's a blue. It's a chan. Oh, it came off. Oh well, it was fun anyways. I bet that can happen again. Oh, he took my hook. Dang. Oh well, that was cool. Alright, it's about 45 seconds later since broke that cat off. Got it retied, new hook. Flick it back in there. Let her sink down with that piece of brim. There he is. Oh, yellow. All I see is yellow. I love these little guys. They're just such beautiful fish, such really dark defined lines. A lot more darker than your wipers, your hybrid striped bass, your stripers. They have thick, bold lines. Pretty good. So there's our first cat floating baits into the dam. He's probably only three, four pounds. My chest strap broke, so I'm gonna have to be hand filming y'all from here on. So I guess just enjoy the fish. Guys, I'm back at you We're here on the river. The water's turned off on us, but the bite's still hot, guys. So stay tuned. Let's see what else we can get. There he is, guys. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, that's a nice drum. This 
water is fast and these fish are even faster. Still ain't no monster that I'm after, but he's good enough for me. Look at that. Drilled it. Oh, yeah. Huge common carp, oh my gosh. Huge common. to record much of the fights with the cats but there's a good one right there it's a nice chunky blue just floating green sunfish in that dam right there behind me and they are just smacking it well uh, i'm gonna get a release on this guy or i might give it to the speller right here i don't know but either way i'll get back to y'all with some more fish so, it's a bluegill <laughs> just a baby bluegill Running now? Let me know if you want me to reel this one. Oh, I'll just go under you. As soon as I get him right here next to me, I'll just go out. Is he growing? I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to tell, huh? He ain't no dinosaur. Well, there's no current, so it's all fish, whatever it is. Yeah, if that's another thing. Usually I'm out here fighting yeah, the current. The He's current. fighting about like that, though. Usually I'd see him by now. Uh, he might be bigger than that. Well, it's kind of flat heady. Yeah, there's not a lot of... He's, he has a brand. Yeah. He's you might have a flathead. He's a flathead. It's a flathead, guys. It's a flathead. I'm getting bit, looks like. It did look like you were getting bit. Yeah. This is a flathead. It's very nice, too. Or a really decent... Blue. Well, blue cane. Nice blue cane. Why don't you go around here? Hey. Yeah, I just left it slack. You started taking off, with really. I'm like, harvest this one. Just one. Have you kept any yet? Not today. I kept some the other day, but I give it away. That's okay. Let's get down there. You never really tell how big they are up there. Uh huh. Probably maybe 15. Oh, you got fish grips. Yeah. I try to remember some stuff. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Get on there. All right. There it is. About 10 pounds for a pounder. Yeah. Nice. Let's put this guy good. Yeah. This your first fish or? Oh, this is my third fish of the day. Third fish? Yeah, third blue. Nice. Probably 45th fish. Yeah. <laughs> Had me excited. I thought he was a flatty. He was acting like that. I'm, I'm hoping that's what'll happen. Hey guys, we are back home. I really hope you all enjoyed that fish trip. Uh, it got late on me. I didn't do my outro last night, so it's technically the next day. We're doing the outro now. 
but I really hope y'all enjoyed it. I want y'all to stay tuned for another video here, here soon, better quality hopefully, and uh, yeah, take it easy.